I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. But like, it feels like life is strange in a very beautiful way. It's probably influenced by it. It seems like it. My name's Mari. And I'm Stacy. And this is not my room, because my name is Mari, not Marie. I know that people clicked on me. Is this a walkthrough of Mari's room? A lot of people call you Mary, too. I know. My name's not Mary. Alright, we're gonna start this game. It's a quick look, let's play. This is kinda nice. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Maybe we're looking at our sister's place. Oh, we're in the future. No entry unless you're a tourist from the future. I'm really getting the life strange. Very life is strange, life is strange yeah. vibe, yeah. Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? I think it looks great. Yeah, you should go back to it, if anything. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Hmm. What is this place? Maybe it's our childhood home? Oh. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Maybe, oh, maybe it's our. I, had, I just get a feeling it's like our sister's place, in there, but I don't know why I get oh, that feeling. Oh, yeah. Well, because it's Marie's room. It's not like my room. You oh, know? wait. Maybe this is her childhood home. Like her that, parents' place. That's what it might be. Yeah. <laughs> Dumblebee? Bumblebee. No. So. Marie's journal. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Okay, so maybe this is like... She once asked me... Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Maybe she was our sister. And you said that like she stood up to him. So maybe she like told her sister to like get away from someone and then something happened to her. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Well, it seems like the bathing suit was a good plan then. Glow in the dark stickers. Mm hmm. Oh, we're invisible. We don't exist. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Mm -hmm. So it seems like she might be, might have been homeless at one point. Mm hmm. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. So 
So we got jars that say vinyl and some other stuff that I can't quite read. Where? Oh, here. The jars. Look like they're saving money. So vinyl, the world, someday, not smoking, smoking jar, and concerts. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. I wonder... Maybe they were both foster children? Or something? Hmm. I don't know. Like, they seem to not really not like their lives for some reason, which I don't know what it is quite yet. Here, open the drawer. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. Oh my God. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. So she said Mr. Torres remarried, so... Who's like it doesn't seem as if so Mr. they Torres stab a, is... stab a father and bash his daughter. So she she's probably dead. Yeah, really. well, because of what she said earlier. I yeah, think it's he the, married and moved on. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty clear that the implication was that she's dead because she said like, oh, like, and she would, you know, she stood up to him, and then things would never be okay again, or something like that. Seems very life and strange influenced, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So they must have been friends, or oh, you know what it might be? She might have volunteered at a food kitchen of sorts, mm -hmm. and they met. And she was probably maybe the, the player character is maybe a homeless teen. Oh yeah, and like very probably like uh, I wonder if she helped her out or if they took her in or something. Yeah, because it seems as if Marie was like, no, don't spend your money on cigarettes. Like, do this, and we can save money together. Yeah, well, and it seems like maybe they were living in the same place because, or at least they were hanging out a lot, because otherwise why would she be around her Yeah. for that, you know? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? Maybe she was murdered. <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Well, she said in her letter, she said, like, I stood up to him, blah, blah, blah. And that's when the player character says, like, she would never be okay again. Maybe the reason, like, maybe she stood up to the guy and he retaliated by robbing her. You know what I mean? By attacking her. Yeah. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Good old dependable chemistry. Time travel. Mm hmm. Hmm. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her, the weird kid, talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? Hmm. Oh, look, a lighthouse. Huh, there was one in there somewhere. I know, I'm yeah. trying to find it. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm. So sucks. she didn't die in the robbery, but maybe the guy came for her later. Yeah, it seems as if she might have been killed by someone. She hmm. must have written it down here somewhere. I was hoping it would be antimatter. Trevor, what an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. Ooh. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. 
You got a lot of shit for it later. We have a journal? Yeah. No, go back. Go back, it's on the bed. Oh. Oh, it gets added. I don't want to touch it yet. In case it, like, takes us somewhere. She must have written it down somewhere. Well, probably in her journal. You're right. Mm hmm I was waiting for it to see if it would read, but high school kid saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I kept telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? December 22nd, 2017. Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They are never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop, leave us alone, so I can forget that whole god-awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped, and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him, but the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. I'm not fearless. January 5th, 2018. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right. I think we're Kelsey, maybe? But matter is also life. And life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I am a shadow person after all. I think she's going to break her neck by that, by the way. See if I care. So, uh, I, it's when she says that, like, she's got nothing to lose. It makes her friend feel like, oh, am I not something to lose? Mm -hmm. That type of thing. Oh, there were other pages in there. <clears throat> they yeah. weren't filled out yet. Oh. See if we can find the password or anything. No? Yeah, what about any of this... Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it, but every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Hmm. Do you think it's like she felt guilty for being one that someone that got, like, you know, because if you're if you're like living in the street, like you probably know other people, and like if you get like helped out. You feel guilty for being the one that got help, you know? It could be that. And also just, like, sometimes it just feels shitty to have people help you even though you shouldn't feel shitty. Mm-hmm. And also maybe, like, it was one of Kelsey's friends who attacked Marie. Oh. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. Marie sounds dope. <laughs> Journal updated. All is now harmed. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs, the cards. No drugs. Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. Fuck! I promised not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. Hold on, I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah. So we go. this one. 
You may, March 17, 2018, you may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud. Ha! Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? I'm trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said Mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced, yup, vocabulary extension again, every time I swore like a madman, mad woman. Must have. We're just not gonna have any more information on when Kelsey broke your window. <laughs> broke the window? Like when Kelsey threw a rock through my window. Oh. You know, sometimes girls just do that when they're max manic pixie dream girls. No, Bad kids. Don't do that. June 30th. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Mm. Suppose it was him in our house? I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true, that Trevor is a bastard but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial there. Nobody's journal ever looks this cool. July 7th, 2018. I don't know. I used to draw in mine. Mine? Okay, fine. Mine will never look this cool. <laughs> we needed this. Beer, water, oranges, like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Um, I used to, like, cut out pictures and, like, draw in mine. This is the future. But not as cool as this. Ah. So maybe there we are time traveling. Mm-hmm. Here, maybe look down on these. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I'm, I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. What's a shadow person? Mm, I could, it's a reference to a lot of different things, but in terms of dark matter, I don't know. Antimatter? Antimatter. I don't know. Journal oh. updated. <laughs> right now back. we're going to find out. <laughs> She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Hmm. Well, now I can click on the orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy? The drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. So it sounds like Trevor was somebody that she knew when she was living on the street, maybe? Yeah, and she that might she have was... been eating food from someone's garden. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Good for her. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Oh. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. What's that post-it on the computer? No. Library. I think we need to be close to things for it to, like... Oh, look, a little hydrogen thingy. Hmm. There's a couple more journal updates if we want to take a look at those. Ah. 
November 21st, 2017. Oh my God, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her, isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm gonna explode from excitement. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless the first time, but ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. We already read that one. Okay, just making sure. Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Oh. Mm. That's Trevor's oh, phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh, that sucks. Mm. Search Kelly's jacket? Did we already do that? Yeah, we did. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. Yeah. T-shirt. We did that. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. Did you open the drawer? I've never actually seen her build it. Oh, yeah. Mr. Torres. And... <laughs> okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. da -da. Looks like a cat lived here. Boop. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Something must have happened that night. Mm -hmm. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Well, we must have disconnected with her at some point mm -hmm. before she died. Hated that thing. Computer password. She must have written it down somewhere. You don't think it's library, do you? She no. must have written it down. Oh, I'm not a shadow person. Oh. Kitty gift. Important. <laughs> this is the important content. I'm glad we unlocked this. This is what we need. It's good stuff. Oh, that's a, like a really good little... Yeah. Like, like touch? Yeah. 30. One day, <laughs> I just had to know. What's up? with all the cats. She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that 
They had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Oof. Bumblebee usually wears a red collar with his name. He's an orange tabby with white chest and paws. Green eyes. Please help me find him. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Oh dear. Is it illegal? Well, is she talking about owning the gun or is she talking about uh, I don't what she know. did with the gun? Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Oh no, did she die in a school shooting? Ari, harassment by fellow student, from Mr. Phillips to me, Marie Torres. Hi Marie, it grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal Phillips J. Oh, fucking oh no. Trevor. I swear. Why didn't this you tell not me, like... Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. No, he's just, like, here's the thing. Is that, like, with people like that, it's not... <sighs> It's not like, like... You can't you, do anything about it. <laughs> it's just like, well, the thing is, it's like, you can't just, like, live your entire life in fear and, like, in hiding because somebody else is, you being know... Being a fucking freak. Being an asshole. Remember when that kid, like, a few years ago, he made a game... He wasn't a kid, but, like, he was 18 years old. He, um... I was like... Guys, don't work with this guy because he's harassing people who gave his game a negative He was yes. being a huge shithead. So he started harassing me over and over and over again. And then, like, I was like, dude, you have your full name on your Twitter and everything. So I just found his mom on Facebook, and then I called their his high school because he hadn't graduated yet. Oh, my God. The Daily Dot wanted to do an article, but I told them not to do it because even though he was technically an adult, I didn't. It was... uh. Yeah, Not, I don't know. I would have felt bad, but I did contact his school. <laughs> well, and it's like at that point, like you know, if, what am I supposed to do? Well, like, but I mean, in terms of like doing an article, like if you already contacted like their parents and you got attention to the problem, then is is I it, just wanted them to stop sending me weird messages. Yeah. So I just sent. I just because his full name was associated with everything he was saying to me, and I was just like. You're what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. 